Oi, hello, governor. Welcome to I Make Joe. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Alexis P. B no, I'm sorry, I've been away. Oi! Uh. Hello, welcome to I Make Joe. We just lost Prince Philip, and we oh, we're gonna have to stop the discotheque because Prince Philip is dead. Do you remember when that happened? It happened recently, right? Welcome to I Make Joe. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bubbles. The yeah. P today stands for puppy teeth. I just got a puppy teeth shirt. Oh, I thought you were saying my teeth were as white as a puppy's. Puppy teeth. Go get your puppy teeth merch. Look, put a little tag on there. I'm obsessed with puppy teeth. Yeah, I and, bought, and because she is, I am too. I bought a pack of like five prints of horny ghosts. And they're so cute. You can get them. I like puppy teeth releases prints, but like in very small numbers, like 30 to 50 to well, 100. It's art. It's bitch. It's art. Yeah. Artwork. Some would it's say. artwork. Much like my grandmother, my mama, she, she colors for artwork and we do sell that and we will be bringing you more, you know, for the yeah. holidays. Jesus is the reason for the season, but she's got to get paid. Everyone go follow Puppy Teeth and admire his artwork and buy his merch. Yeah. God, I love Puppy Teeth. For those of you wondering, where's Alexis been? No one knows. And she honestly, she's too excited to be back to talk about it. So we're just going to get right into this episode. So up first, Veronica Green's ghost. Wait, wait, wait. No. I went to visit my parents <gasps> in Florida. Uh, and I performed with... Uh, things are going really well there, right? COVID is gone. Oh, it's completely gone. Yeah, completely. Not a magic yeah, no, 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 no. Not necessary. No, I saw my good friend Tora, winner of season two of Camp Wanakiki, and I performed. Were you on that show? I was on the first one, yeah. Oh. And I performed. Where did you place? I did some, huh? Did you win that? Yeah. I won the really? first one. Just the first one, yeah. But Muffy was in that one. I got to see Tora, and she was lovely, and we performed. You performed? Where did you, you perform? perform? This amazing bar called Cocktails and Screams, which is a weird name for a bar, but it's really cool. It's a horror movie-themed bar. Oh, well, then that that's makes sense. That's year-round. Lead round. with that. Lead with that. Yeah. Well, that's what they I should I performed do. at this horror movie-themed bar, Cocktails and Screams. Yeah. If you're like, I performed at this tiki bar. It's called Cocktails and Screams. There is a secret, private secret tiki bar in the back that I didn't get to see because I was performing in the main Is that where people screen. get murdered? No, but there was an employee there dressed up like Michael that would just stand in the far back. So Michael would, Marino? No, Michael um, Halloween. Oh. Michael, I don't know what his last Myers. name is. Myers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Myers I've never Briggs. seen a Halloween movie and I knew that. Wait, I'm you haven't in. ever seen Halloween? No, my. but well, that's why I want my first Halloween to, be to Kyle. see Kyle Richards get murdered. But, but you have to see the first one because no, it's thanks. origins of Kyle Richards. Believe me, I've got, I know exactly where Kyle Richards comes from, okay? I'm so excited for you to get caught up with Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills. I am too. I know it's gonna now take a while. The first four episodes, I must say, I am very much a Kathy Hilton stan. Yeah, I'm excited. Who is Hunky Dory? <laughs> <laughs> I just love that she didn't know that you had to plug a fan into the wall. <laughs> there are she so put many. put the fan next to the wall, and she's like, it won't work with the, the wall. And she's like, yeah, you have to plug it in. She goes, well, I didn't know. Well, girl, just wait. Ugh. You're on the first, you just watched the first four episodes. Yeah. I'm on the first of four reunions. Reunions, I know. And I'm I have to stay off Twitter for that, and because I follow a lot of porn stars. And like, so I just get, I can't be out in public looking at my Twitter. Okay? I definitely ha finally had the experience of opening my Twitter in an airport and getting porn right away and having to be like, uh-oh. Well, thank God you were in that Chili's too. They offer so much privacy at those booths. They do. They do. But oh, that was... that's the guarantee of Chili's too. <laughs> you did just come back from Florida, which is basically a different country. Yeah, absolutely. Did you feel safe? No. Okay, so I'm sorry to hear about your safety concerns in Florida, but actually today's sponsor would help you with your internet concerns. We have a new sponsor, Surfshark VPN. I use it for a couple different reasons. You can switch where your location is. What about London? If you go to London, you can actually use their Netflix. Do you know what London Netflix has? Full episodes of Drag Race. And not like just previous seasons, like current seasons. That sounds like magic. It is magic because they don't know that you're not actually British. You don't have to have a passport. You don't even have to use an accent. What so, if you want to use an accent? Well, you can. You can say, excuse me, Netflix, can I, can I watch TV? <laughs> but it's actually, it encrypts all of your data. That sounds amazing. Now, I have a question about this encrypting data. Sure. What is that is? 
means. Let me put it in the simplest terms I can for you. So things that you do online, information, personal information, you know when you order DoorDash and you say, I'd like for you to slip it under my door and whisper, mommy says it's okay. Like you don't <laughs> want people to see that, right? Cyber criminals, the internet police, they're looking for the cyber criminals. No one's gonna come across that information. All of your information is kept private and safe. Gosh, you know, this sounds amazing. I wish we had sort of like a, what if we had like a discount code where we could try it and get 83% off in three free months? What a very specific thing to say. We absolutely do. Use the code IMHO. That's our name! Checkout. This is an, yeah, it's an app. They're sponsoring us. And Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's really no excuse. That's I mean, you're not gonna lose out on anything. And make sure you go to the description box below. We do have the link there so that you can go ahead and get your discounts in your three free months. That sounds amazing. Thank you, Surfshark VPN. Thank you. Anyway, anyway um, should yeah. we get into this? Of course. Okay, yes. all right. So we start off, Adele is packing up. She gets a phone call. I think she's probably talking to her son. She's gonna be there two hours, love. Alexis, Hmm. we're talking about Drag Race UK. What are you talking about? This isn't for Adele's new music video, Easy On Me? No. Okay. Is that out? Yeah, it came out as of today. When? 6 p.m. Really? Yeah. So it's been out for two hours and you haven't said a word to me. Well, I took notes, so she sings, mm, and oh, then I she drives this. away from this house, oh, which no. I think is the same house that she went to during Hello from the other side, and then she, she leaves the and all the side. music's flying around, mm. but then they come back, and it's kind of like, it's kind of like Celine Dion all coming back to me now. She's like in the empty house, and she is, back, beat, she is beat, she is beat, her hair is gorgeous, she is singing in a chair, and she's really getting into it. She's like, and then at the end, it ends. And then she kind of like breaks the fourth wall and looks at the camera and she's like, that all right? And they're like, yeah, that was amazing. She's like, ha, 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 I never. Wait, she really did look at the camera? Yeah, she like, the production, you can hear on That's top. That's so cute. It's cute. I love her. I'm so happy for her. Yeah, she looks great. Divorced, I'll watch, I'll watch that after Divorced, this. Yeah. yeah. Divorced, beheaded, died. Divorced, Divorced beheaded, beheaded, survived. See six on Broadway. Six. All right. Now you weren't here last week, so no, you missed, I missed not it. only the camp stuff, which like queen of camp, so silly, <gasps> yeah, but you I also missed that. the farewell of Veronica Green and Nicola. you missed the welcome of Nicola. Icon what did who you iconic. Think? Give us our quick Alexis Bevel's rundown. Nicola's iconic. I hope she comes back. She was just the perfect she energy, exactly perfect right. synergy of like fan appreciation of what these people do, but also like artists and having really fun. Like she wasn't there to critique. She was there to make jokes. And that was, that mm -hmm. was what you need in a guest judge who doesn't do drag. I was really sad to see that Victoria is not coming back. I mean, she did say this isn't the last we'll see of her, but she didn't give the open invitation. Veronica, goodbye. I'm ready to like her now. That's what I was gonna say. Say you what know you know said what? earlier. Say what you said I'm earlier. I'm ready to appreciate her now because she was serving some weird choices outside of her drag. Like the leotard, the dancing the other day. Right. And then this weird character, not drag makeup at all, just a weird character. I love it. But thing. actually yeah. kind of brilliant because you know those nerdy little Brilliant, but like in a way that I don't feel like she's in on the joke. No, she wasn't. It wasn't intentional, but it was funny. But that she made me laugh. But I agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. It's a dislike of her as a contestant on the show, of her getting a second shot and continuing to not perform well on the show. But as a drag queen, as an insane personality, as someone who makes those choices, we would get along on the in outside real life. world. Love her. I just also, don't like her on my I also do wonder if what Abby said when Abby was here is maybe part of it. I don't, you know, it was so long ago. Do you um, want me to remind you that. what Abby said? No, actually, I heard that that video got taken down um, because of copyright, uh, copy, Abby right. For better or for worse, Veronica Green has gone from our screen and we will miss her. Well done. Thank you. I have another one. Oh, okay. Now, River may be from Medway, but she is being slept on all the way. By production all day. and the... Medway all day. Can I do it again? Yeah. Do you want to finish it actually? No, I was actually really excited to be able to participate. <laughs> <laughs> Good at rhyming, and you're I just so think words good. are so there's because I have a thesaurus on my computer, you know. Well, you're from Go ahead, do it again. Well, River Med may River may be from Medway, but she is being slept on all, all day. day. That was good. Uh, by these girls and production, 
Uh, I like her, and I think she's doing I, better than everyone else is pretending like she I is. I adore her, and I don't understand why no one else is seeing it. Yeah. It's one of those things, too, though. We watch the show, and it's it's something we're seeing a lot with feedback of Canada season one. The reality of what was happening in production is very different from what the audience is, is seeing. So maybe it's just one of those yeah. things where, like, she was one of the people who fell under the radar, not because of her talent, but because of, like, a production issue. Probably. I think she's phenomenal. Tops. Tops. Speaking of tops, we're taking it to the top of the pop charts with a girl group. So, so they want to bring back the magic of UK Hun. Did they bring it back? No. But no. was it a good effort? Absolutely. Yes. And they were coached by four Steps. of the five members of Steps, which are huge four in the of UK. The five members. That's funny. I think a big reason was because they just had Michelle featured on one of their songs, which because you know Michelle why. Visage is a British pop star. She is. She's, well, she's actually no. from England. Yeah. She she was born. She she is, actually the queen delivered her. The queen went, oh, give it to me. Oh, you're pussy. That's such a great queen. Well, I've, I saw the documentary. It's called Michelle. Is she British? The team captains are the winner from last week and the loser from last week. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of the lip sync. <laughs> the loser, loser. <laughs> the loser's wrong. Okay, it's taking me a minute. To, it's taking me a minute to the get back The winner of last it. week and the loser of last week. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's an insane thing to say. It's been it. a weird. It's no, been I a weird it. couple of days. The winner, which was <laughs> Scarlet Harlot. Was it Scarlet Harley? Yeah, and was. then the winner of the lip sync, which was Vanity Milan. The Mala. loser, Vanity. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlet picks Kitty, Charity, and Crystal, and they are the Slice Girls. What and does that mean? I think it's like fancy a slice. Remember when back when um Jenny, Jenny Lemon. Lemon was like fancy a slice, a slice but a slice what? is also like oh, bite me off a piece of that, like a hot, like a a hot Kit toddy. Kat bar. Oh, I love hot toddies. Can I say though, you know what I don't like about hot toddies? Is Having you, to say hot toddy. You know, when you order one and the bartender has to get the kettle out and they're so mad. <sighs> Thank you to Drew at Elixir Lakeview for never complaining because we would always ask for hot toddies. When I did, <laughs> when I did, <laughs> when I did uh, the hit show, the series that I, I want to say kind of sparked your career in video editing, OMG GOT. He would I make... love that that's your spin. Well, it really helped you like learn how to edit, so it wasn't all that bad. I didn't say it helped you learn how to edit, I said it helped spark your interest. Oh, of wanting to cut things out. Yeah. <laughs> He made this drink that had like coffee in it and it was annoying to make, but because he made it for that, now I ask for it every time and he gets really frustrated, but he loves me, so he doesn't show I it. I love him. I love Drew at Elixir. I love him. Elixir Lake, the Elixir Anderson Bell. Tops. are the place to be. So good. To see two queens singing. Speaking of queens singing, we've got Vanity, who picked Ella, River, and then Theresa May was picked last, which is a little sad. Yeah. But Theresa is the star. Dita and I said this last week, like very similarly to River, I think Teresa is very easily being slept on. Yeah. And I think she showed in this particular challenge this week that she was not the right person to mess That's with. That's not okay to be sleeping on her because... No, because she's not a mattress. You know what she is? English, Spanish. Spanish, English. She's, she's English. So she... What is being a mattress? From... Oh, slept on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. They have mattresses in England. Yes. They do. Maybe it's like hay and like family crests. But like it's in a bag. And they are the pick and mix. Pick and mix. Which I enjoyed because Little Mix, right? Little Mix. Oh, they've been in the Well, I mean, lately. the only reason I even know shit about Little Mix is Sari. Shout out to Sari, the most goddamn Little Mix fan who's really trying to make it happen in the States. Oh, I need to see Sari's, uh... I can't see without. Oh, yeah, of course. I need to see Sari's, uh, thank you. Is there something? Yeah. Yeah, I got the glass out. This song is called BDE, pause for laugh. Big drag energy. Oh, shit. Big drag energy. And there's two versions, an upbeat and a, and a mid, mid like ballad tempo. tempo. Yeah. You, a two uh, becomes so, one thing. Okay, Three, yes. Two, two becomes one. So, uh, on the outset. Looking in, well, ever be more than a long span. Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on my glasses. Wainering my butt Where's the glass? 
Oh, it's a new uh, technique update. Uh, um, new. So on the on the outside, always looking in. I will say you needed the up tempo. Up tempo. Right? Me that too. Been my Me too. I think that was the whole guess. thing. It's like, yeah. Well, obviously. The, yeah. However. Well, because that's we'll what to it. UK UK Hun was very upbeat and it did so well. And they're obviously trying to recreate that magic because UK Hun is what iconic. Iconic. But had they presented it like this? Okay, you ready? You ready? Racers, I don't, I'm Tim Gunn. <laughs> I don't know. That was a really good Tim Gunn. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, but they're like, okay, BDE. So we have two versions. We have the spice up your life version and we have the two become one version. Right, which one I, is like really long and thick at the head, but one is thick all the way through and slightly shorter, but probably more pleasurable. Because BDE. Have you seen that that TikTok thing that's going around now where people are rating like they want five inches? It's that song where they're like nine oh, no, inches. No, I don't want no, you. Eight yeah. inches. I yeah, don't want yeah, you. And yeah, they're no, no. like five inches. I want you. Anytime you see a guy do that, I'm like, so you're five? Are you saying that's like the size of your penis? No, I think they don't want the your butt to hurt. Any agreed. But as far as the TikTok is concerned, who cares? Why are we talking about the size of a dick? Well, because that's what the point of the app is, the people to draw attention to their penises. Let's bring in steps. They're cute. Two of them are going to help with the singing recording part. Two of them are going to help with the choreo, which actually when we get to that is really, that's really stressful. Because I thought they were going to like give them the choreo. No, they're just going to watch you while you do it. That's yes, very yes. stressful. Okay, I'm sorry. I do want to go back. I'm please, sorry. Please, please. I'm jumping no, 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 ahead because we, we went on a, No, no, no. We went on a tangent, but I did want to say if you presented to me a like upbeat song in this Spice Girls way or a Two Become One because Two Become One is a fucking hit. Two Become Banger. One is fantastic. Bang is a mash. Bath. And when they said like do you want the upbeat one or the mod or like the slow one of course we all say upbeat but then if someone was like but it's kind of like Two Become One I'm like oh wait hang on a second I don't have to do a lot of choreography I can do a lot of sexy walking around and moving my shoulders back and forth as long as my back is okay and I can write a very personal lyric I might have chosen that. I didn't enjoy, I will say this, I did not enjoy how the upbeat group was kind of shitting on the, yeah. on the, well, as you would say, on Vanity the Losers group. <laughs> the loser of last week's group. <laughs> um, that wasn't fun. I didn't like that. I didn't yeah. enjoy that. I just want to say, don't do that. Don't make, don't bully. Don't do head games. <gasps> do love games. Do squid games. Oh, have you finished yet? <gasps> no. Oh. We're on episode seven. We have That's three left. There are nine episodes. Don't tell me so anything. So good. No, I won't. I can't remember. I've already show. moved on. What an incredible show. Can yeah. I say that? It's the number one show in the world. <gasps> Can you believe that? Under in the world. In the world. Understandably. Okay. That's the other thing. Okay. Let's talk about this. Did you watch it subtitles or did you watch dub? I did watch dub. Oh. Because I like to do Is that things. weird? No, I'm getting used to it. I subtitled. I enjoy hearing the voices. I have to be I have to have brain free to do other things while I'm watching. That's yes. But so if I'm reading, I'll fall asleep. And that is my cross to bear. And I apologize. <laughs> yeah, it is something you really have to deal with. I have to work on that. But have you seen Train to Busan? It's not really up your alley. It's about a zombie apocalypse, but it happens on a train. Oh, that's fun. And the guy, one of the guy, one of the actors in Squid's game, forgive me if this is wrong. I I think he's the one that does the slapping game in episode one. Super the hottest, hot. yeah. the hottest person in the series. Okay. Him, him protecting a little child against <laughs> the apocalypse. Flood I, that basement, babes. I was so I was. It was almost an out of body experience. I wanna be slapped by when you, he sir. stood up, friend, and he was six fleas. Yeah, and that face and that hair, and those long ass slapping and arms, that briefcase, slap me to the. Round. You can have it. You can have all the money and slap me. Yeah. And though, okay, I, we'll I'm go only from on episode Squid Game six. to Squish Game, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I still call it Squid Game. Because <laughs> oh, of your got tentacles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff yeah. Coming up. This is an accident. We have to acknowledge these things. We have to acknowledge that people are hot and that we're attracted <laughs> to them. Because if we don't, we Who lose our will? humanity. Who, uh, and you know what? Humanity is a lot of things, okay? It's relationships, it's, uh, and boners. And squid, and some squid. If you get, if you do it wrong. Okay. Also, God, I'm sorry. I I don't know what's happening. I don't know why I'm so horny. The boys and steps were so hot. Oh yeah. Blonde One of them was gay. Was oh, there was that really sweet with moment with River. Oh, Same. Same. super sweet move moment with River. Cause cause his name is just H. H. But the way he pronounces H, which is hot. That's my middle initial. H. Yeah, I know. That's why I think I'm gonna sleep with him Hendrix. One day. 
on the... What? It's a hotel. What? Holiday. Um, yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Holiday Inn. Oh, that would actually be really cute because your last initial is N. I need to get away from this. Hey, no. it was like, oh, it's so sweet. It's so amazing that you're like being gay uh, in public. And then River was like, <laughs> and then River he was said, like, I love the fem part. Like, if I had had that growing up, that would have meant so much to and me. And then River said, but that's what you were to me, which is, is that a kind of a dick? No, I loved it. It's Aunt, okay. No, okay, it's so okay. sweet. It is sweet. And then he cried. I loved, okay, can I say, when they came in to the workroom, and then the last guy came in and goes, and I'm blah, 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 uh, and we're steps, steps on steps. steps. Yeah. I felt like what you felt like when I do that. I felt mad. And then the next day, they're getting ready, and it's, it's kind of all about River's mom, which as it should be. What a horrible, harrowing, tough journey so that River is young. on already. So young. And to have this to think mm -mm. about, which, and, and this is fresh. So her mom her mom passed from COVID, yeah. and River's only 22. At time of filming, she may have even been younger like when her mom passed, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, she was like, yeah, and then like the next day after my mom died, I got the call. You get, you get the most crippling news of your life where she's like, I didn't think I could even get out of bed ever again. And then you get the most exciting news the next day. And the one person that is like your biggest supporter is gone. That's, well, it's really tough. It's really awful. tough. But I do know, I mean, her mom knows. Her mom saw. Yeah. And for her to Ugh. be being so vulnerable and doing this at this time, which is what she told her mom she wanted to do, she was going to tell the world about her. It was really beautiful and so I was so, so happy. I was so happy she mentioned her mom. And, you know, obviously, like, you're doing a, a pop song. You don't want to, like, talk about your mom's <laughs> battle with COVID and how yeah. awful that was. But just to be able to bring her mom into it at all, I just yeah. thought was, like, so sweet. It was really, really a heartfelt moment. And then right after that, she she was crying. H was like, this is so amazing that you're doing this. Let's continue on. And the next line out of her mouth is about BDE. <laughs> it just made me, that yeah. made me chuckle a little bit. That would have made her mom chuckle. Like, <laughs> yeah. seeing all the pictures. Because yeah. that's the thing, too. I want to say, as like a drag queen yeah. in the bar, whenever anyone's parents are there, uh. that is the most exciting thing for all of us as a very wounded community. Yeah. When we see a supportive parent, oh, nothing warms our heart more. Did I tell, do you remember, were you there the night that JoJo was there? No. Okay, so when I worked at Bar Redacted, JoJo came because she was releasing a new album or something. I don't remember. I was like, hey, I'm Darby. I'm going to be like interviewing on the stage a lot. And I was like, I got all the questions you sent. Great, happy to do it. I like to make fun of people and talk about dicks because we're at a gay bar. Can I say stuff? And JoJo goes, you say whatever the fuck you want. And I was like, okay, great. I go up on stage. We have a wonderful time. She could not have been more gracious and wonderful. And then there was this very hot gay guy and a very hot dad, like his dad. But we were at Bar Redacted, so you never know if like that's his, like his daddy or like his actual biological father. You know what I mean? The dad came because the dad is a JoJo fan. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, so he got wasted, right? You ready for this? You're gonna lose your mind. So something I did a lot at Bar Redacted was dance-offs, right? Because it's easy. You pull two drunk people up on stage. Hi, what's your name? I would kind of like embarrass them and then they dance, which was embarrassing for everyone. And then we'd give one like a gift card or whatever. So I pull the father and son up. This is like end of the night. Dad is just like really wasted. I step off stage, it's our song. Dad starts to undo his pants and I'm like, Okay. He takes his pants off. He's wearing briefs. And I was like, very much into it. What we did next? Pulled his briefs down. I had the, <laughs> I had the clipboard. I had to get up on stage. He turned his back around and pulled them down with his butt facing, but he pulled them down. His dick was out. So I got up on stage and like put the like clipboard in front of it. And I was like, all right, and cut the music, cut the music. It's over. But anyway, I got to see his dick and I was very happy. Was it nice? Of course it was, because it's a dad that likes JoJo. <laughs> let's get into these pictures. So up first, we have... Wait, let's talk about RuPaul in this... Well, that's what I was going to say. We have RuPaul oh, in her sorry. girl group look. Yeah! Right. And she's got the nude illusion you again. You love a nude illusion. We're getting a lot of the nude illusion. We had it last year. She's in a micro mini dress. Yeah, I love it. It's really cute. It's very girl group. Yeah. I was. I thought it was very in theme. With bitch, special guest, Baby Spice, Emma no. Bunton. Amazing. Do you remember when the Spice Girls came out? I was in the fifth grade. Oh, if you were in the fifth grade, I was in utero. My mom was deciding, should I abort him? Should I not? But she prayed and God said yes. But the well, abortion I doctor did, was sick that well, day. Well, no, because I did I did Dewey Hauser. I did fifth grade and then I went directly to college. So oh, I'm only right, right, I'm right. only nineteen now. So So that's She's when a I first dermatologist. Huh? 
of course, Spice Girls was life changing for me. I, as I think many gay people our age. Let's get into these looks. It is um, what is it? What is it called? Spice, Spice Girls. Spice Girls. From, from, yeah, Spice Girls. Yeah, up its first Crystal Versace as Baby Spice. Yeah, I mean she does look really cute. She, the coat is gorgeous. And one thing that RuPaul says a lot, but she said it again this episode, her proportions are right. She's a very yeah. detail oriented queen. Yeah. That is. I, so, I don't mean to sound like this, but so, that's not expected for a young girl. Right. That well, because so of often detail. you see young, thin, skinny girls. I'm listening. Be beautiful and thin. Of course they are, and mm -hmm. they don't pad. Because no. they don't, because they don't need to. Because a lot of models have these thin bodies. That's how. I this mean. is different in the sense that she's really padding and doing yeah. this kind of hourglass figure, and she's it's, turning herself into a living doll. Next was Charity Case, who did her interpretation of Scary Spice. She was a leopard. She was a Mad Hatter. I agree. Uh, so I agree with you one hundred percent with what you said to Dita. What I, I think she is beyond drag race. Yes. Like this is this is when they art. commented I didn't see Spice Girls. But also I was like, yes, bitch, you did. This is Yes you did. This is Spice Girls on acid, yellow submarine. They did a music video and they're all animals. Yeah. And maybe baby was like a a, a baby cow. Or maybe no, seal. you know she should be a baby seal. Don't a baby seal. I don't understand their critiques. I don't like how Michelle said, You're really good at what you do. We brought you on because you're good at your interpretations. But we want to see you do basic. But we want to see Spice Girls. Like, then why did you bring her on? No, I, this Sorry, is so I much it. more. This is so much it. more interesting. And the fact that she just did a group performance. How much time do they have in between these things? I can't yeah. imagine it's a lot. And Three she days. completely. Also, that thing was stoned as fuck. Yeah, and like the the boob detail and the body was great. I just it didn't make sense. I get that it's not necessarily their taste, but you brought her on knowing exactly who she is. That's the I. Yeah, dumb. I thought she looked great. Dumb. You know who's not dumb? Is Kitty Scott Claus oh, coming out no. as a God. Baby Spice. On tour. Did you look it up the original? No, let me do That's it real quick. exactly it. That's it, exactly it. It's beautiful. It. I will say the, the ABBA was to the to the layman's eye, to the un, untrained glasses eye. Yeah. It was a little similar to the ABBA, a short white mini. Oh, yeah, yeah, But yeah, does yeah. that matter? No. I, I don't... I, it, because it was such, like, it was a recreation of an iconic yeah. Baby Spice thing. My whole thing was like, I don't know about you, and I know that it was featured a lot for this reason, but I fell for it. I know she's a girl group girl, like, you know, I know that's her, kind of her vibe in yeah. the UK and, and her relation to, to Shao Ho. So to see her get to interact with Steps, and then to see her get yeah. to dress oh, as was... Baby Spice yeah. in front of Baby Spice, I was on cloud nine watching Kitty. Who would be your like, Kitty is to baby as Darby is to who? Ooh. One thing that they kept saying was like, I grew up with you, you know, like since as long as I could remember. And I, you know, I wasn't allowed to listen to secular music <laughs> other than Judy Garland. And she's Judy dead. Garland. Yeah, I guess Liza, I'd be like, I'm your mama now. <laughs> <laughs> who would be yours? You know what? I'm gonna say Celine Dion. Yeah, that's a good one. No. Uh, uh, can we take it back? Yeah. Do from your line. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> what would be yours? Oh, I'm going to say this. Mm. Bette Midler. Good. Would you do Mermaid in a Wheelchair? I don't think I would do Mermaid in a Wheelchair. Well, actually, maybe, yeah, because uh, Hocus Pocus Iconic. is a little overdone. Yeah, we do need to. But you know what I also love? There's a movie called For the Boys. Yes. Obsessed with that yes. movie. Did not know a sink, did not know what was going on, but I was obsessed with it. Okay. Uh -huh. ooh, ooh, okay. 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 Let me change. I, I, okay. Do you want me to do, take it back? Uh, yeah. Take it back. To who was your, who was your like, Kitty is to Baby Spice as Darby is to who? Okay. So one thing they were saying was like, they grew up with it. Right. And somebody yeah. that like my best friend growing up, Betsy, who you'll get to meet very soon. You're going to be very excited about that. I know, I know, that, that, is. I know like, that is. She's going to sit right next to me at the head of the table at well, the wedding. Well, I mean, and, like, there's we'll probably going to be multiple the, sides. I'll well, probably be across the table. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure that you well, know how the well, table is going to be set up. But I can sit anyway, in the we same chair, probably. were obsessed because of the Rosie O'Donnell show. We became a... <laughs> you almost hit me with that. We became obsessed... You know how I get when you talk about Rosie. With Wheels of a Dream... 
therefore Audra McDonald. And Audra McDonald, after winning her first of many, many, many Tonys, released an album and it was like our go-to. I have to say for long lasting, still means the world to me, people who are alive, mm -hmm. rest in peace, Judy. I think Audra McDonald, I think she'd be my, that's a beautiful answer. I think she'd be my go-to. I think if I met her, I think I would, I think I'd panic. There's a lot of people, like a lot of famous people that I feel like, I'm not like a panicky person, unless they're a real housewife, than I am. Yeah, Audra McDonald. Will you ask me? I'm gonna change my answers. Will you ask me again? Oh, you want me to take it back? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so who was like who would yours be if you had to do like that? I'm gonna say this. Yeah. She may not be known for her vocal, but she is a great singer. It's Rosie O'Donnell. Because like Solid. you mentioned the show. Solid. I have loved this woman. I mean, I've talked about this. She had the same birthday as my mom. She filled the audience with people that had her birthday. I that, begged that my show. mom and my uncle to go. My uncle Darby, who has her birthday. Oh, RIP. No, he's alive. Dead to me, because I took his name. I was obsessed with Rosie. I remember when the show was announced and she was on David Letterman promoting it and she did this weird thing where she had a jean jacket on with the, the logo on the back and she sang a long note forever did. and got a massage. And then I remember watching it. I remember when, what's his name with the sister with the dolls? John that was in Mulan. Smooth. No, that was in the Mulan. He voiced Mulan even though it shouldn't have been him. Donny Osmond. Donny Osmond called her fat. Do you remember no. this? I've talked about this before. Donny Osmond's so hot to me. I know he's a Mormon. No, freak. he's he's canceled to me because he said he got lowered in a helicopter and she was like saying, that's amazing. And he goes, she's like, I like to try that. And he goes, well, there's a weight limit. On her show. <laughs> On her show. That's, you know the first time I, okay. She introduced me to Kristen Chenoweth. She introduced me to Sutton Foster. Oh my God. She introduced God. me to Audra McDonald. Obviously uh, she changed the world. Side, side group, sisters. Side show. Our generation. Yeah. This was, she was our ticket to Broadway before, you know, before internet and stuff. Okay. When she had Barbara on, she showed the Barbara Judy duet. It's the first time I had ever seen it. Happy days are here again. That's a very special moment for us. Yes. We're going to sing that showed, at wedding. She uh, showed, in my funeral, she showed <laughs> that small clip and it was before YouTube and I couldn't, obviously, like I couldn't get access to the old Judy Garland shows. Like they weren't available. I went on LimeWire. You remember LimeWire? Oh. Yeah. Yes, I do. And I downloaded that clip from the Rosie O'Donnell show and that was, it was just 30 seconds and I watched it for years. I feel the same way about the Scarlet Pimpernel. She introduced me to the Scarlet Pimpernel. Ooh, okay, I changed my mind. Okay, ask me again, ask me again. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's the longest segment. <laughs> <laughs> so who is your, okay, so Kitty yeah. Scott Claus yeah, 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 is to yeah. Baby, Baby Spice, Spice yeah. as Darby is to who? Who's yours? Okay. <laughs> I thought about this and I really put some thought into it. Bonnie Hunt. Cause Bonnie oh! <laughs> Do you remember she had that show before Rosie? <laughs> and she was in Jumanji. <laughs> you have to be Bonnie uh, Hunt from Snatch Game. <laughs> Everyone under 35 is so confused. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay. <laughs> that was so fun. Up next is Scarlett Harlot. Caroline Ray, she took over for Rosie. Oh. Good try. Scarlet Harlot, she is Scary Spice. She's also doing kind of a cheetah coat with like a neon green. I didn't really have a problem with this. I liked it. The only, that I, I think she looks gorgeous. The only issue I had was her hairline was way too high. I did wish she had lowered it just a little, but I do love, she was like, and I've got this big double stack so it hides my like chin. And I was, th first of all, I, I want her to let go no, of that. I, because a lot of beautiful women have gorgeous jaws. What are you talking about? I want you to let go of your silly long face thing. Cause you don't have a long face. You're just thin. I do have a long face. Scarlet Harlot, I, I, she just seemed really defeated. Cause she messed up her, oh, you need to talk about the girl group's performances. Oh yeah, sorry, let's do that really quickly. First group, not great. Scarlet yeah. forgot her words and she eye rolled and then they didn't enjoy charity. I will say, I don't think it was an eye roll. I think it was a fuck, I forgot. What is that? Well, that's that's what he described it as. That's what Yeah, he, he but he did that. say eye roll. I do feel like. But she was like. And she got, she got really defeated. Kitty was brilliant. Kitty was Wouldn't a Wouldn't you be shitting yourself though if you just fucked up so hard in front of Baby Spice? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, so not great. So that was sad. Then two become once. Then two out. become once. The, Ella of a day. The pick, the pick and mix. Ella. Ella was brilliant. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't surprised that she. They did try to do a little thing where she wasn't going to do wasn't well. She wasn't good. Yeah. She did do well. Here's what. This is what we were alluding to earlier. I liked 
the mid-tempo one better. I did too. I could hear all the words. The characters were very clear. Everyone had a moment to shine. I do think and they the seemed like were they were long. just having fun. They, they just were, seemed like they were enjoying yeah. themselves. Teresa was brilliant. <laughs> Teresa is the Lush. standout. Love. She's the new in the long line I of like everyone did a great job. I thought the this whole is group. the first time I've seen Vanity feel herself like in a yeah. very shining moment. Like and for her to come back from being in the bottom twice and now she's like she's got a repeater badge. Fucking love that shit. Yeah. Oh, loved it. Loved it. Loved well, it. now that the one team won, now out of the entire cast, there's only two people without repeater badges. Charity and Kitty. Oh, Kitty doesn't have one yet. Uh-uh. That doesn't But everyone sense. else has one now. Speaking anyway. of Elle of a Day, Elle of a Day was doing a sporty spice. It's the first and only I think we got. Loved. You loved this? I loved it because that's sporty. This is, yeah. this is the most glamour sporty she could have done. And I'm just glad no one ignored her. I liked that it she changed the from snap pants to snap skirt. I thought that yeah. was kind of clever. And I like the, the tattoos and she yeah, did like Yeah, she had the tattoos, but come on, they had the joke. I think that's sporty though. I don't yeah, think Yeah, I think this is I good for her. I think it's the, the draggiest personal, it could be. I have personal issues with what? Hang-ups about my feelings about Ella the Day cuz I'm mad that she's hot and successful. Oh, yeah, you need to come to terms. Next is River Medway as Ginger Spice. I thought she looked adorable. The wig was perfect. The, the wig was perfect. Great. Here's my, my, the only issue. Shorts. The shorts, yeah. I mean, I assume. I just wish it was a skirt. I assume Ginger has, has done that. So I wasn't, I didn't have that much of a problem with it. The issue I had was the stoning of girl power. One stone, the same size stone all the way down, doesn't fill out the letters and it makes it look a little cheap. Like as soon as she got on the runway and she like hit a pose, I was like, ooh, did you draw that on? Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. I think if you, well, because you know I've done stuff. You have an eye for detail. You're I like, would, for you're letters like with rhinestones, absolutely. Yeah. I think if you're gonna stone anything, this and this goes for anything, not just letters, but letters especially, I think you need to work with about six different size stones. I think you need to have very small, big, and then in between. That's why Henry got his idea for six wives, because he was like, if I just have one wife, it won't look filled in. But if I have six wives, it'll fill it out nicely of different sizes. And that's why he chopped the head off of two, is because he was like, well... So two of them were too big, they did chop it off. <laughs> Vanity Milan in a Scary Spice vibe tiger print. Tiger, I mean, it's very, it's very scary. Buns and the, the top. The hair was great. My only issue, and I think, I think we've said this about Vanity basically all along. I just want to see more hair. I want to see more yeah. drag hair. Especially if you're going to be in this kind of more masculine look, like the suit. Like, cause it's already curly and like big, but it was all hidden behind her head. Yeah, I want to see like drag hair. Yeah. That was the, my only thing with that was I wish I had seen a little more drag. Yeah. Last but certainly not least, mm -mm. it's Theresa May. Theresa May as Ginger Spice in this really fucking cool. I loved it. Take on a on a superhero with the the flag and the hair. It was actually kind of giving me Rogue as well. X Men. I don't know if you know. Yeah. So I did. I watched the X Men cartoon in the morning oh, before yeah, yeah, school. Oh yeah. Yeah. We find out that the winning team is Pick and Mix. Pick and mix they and all four win badges. Yeah. I like which, that. Okay, let's say they didn't do that. Like they all win, but only one person win wins. Who would you? Do you see? Yeah, so cute. Who would you have given the badge to? Win win. Um, mm. I think I'd give it to Ella. I was gonna say I think Ella probably had a lot to do with the choreo, or she did have a lot to do with the choreo, and she, she probably was great. kind of she ringleader great. in that respect. Yeah. And then the the. Other team, they're all up for elimination. They're all up for elimination. Although Kitty does get some really good. Yeah, we knew that critiques. Kitty was fine. We knew that. So Kitty was Kitty's fine. top of the bottom. So exciting to see Kitty also getting to talk to Baby Spice. Like, yeah, yeah. What an I, out of body. Experience. She even said that later. She was like, when Scarlet was like, "Sorry, I fucked this all up," and Kitty was like, "Hey, I got to talk to Baby Spice because of this." Yeah. It, Had they won, she wouldn't have talked to Baby Spice. Right, which just sucks. Yeah. Poor Scarlet. It did break my heart when she knew mm -hmm. what was coming. And she and just, just wouldn't like look up. Down. She was crying. That was really sad. Well, because that entire... I get that, though. Because that entire day must have been leading up to this, like, just so horrible. The minute she fucked up, you know the entire time she was getting ready for the runway and then walking the... You know it wasn't out of her mind. And she's at the end of the line, so she's listening oh, to everyone else. God. And she's like, they're coming for me. They're coming so for me. So anxiety yeah. producing. Uh, Charity, I thought, did super well defending herself, but not being defensive. I agree. And I loved that. I 
agree. Because, like you said, she's... And she even said, like, she's like, blah, 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 gave her her reason and then said, but I hear your critique and I take that in. Thank you. Gorgeous. Professional. That's professional. That's professional. And pro honestly, more than the judges deserve. I did like the moment in the backstage when Teresa was like, oh. hey, Pitt's last, but I'm, you know. Yeah. And that then she sweet. did have good TV moment of, so why did y'all pick me last? I love that shit. Yeah, that's good. Earlier when Scarlett was like, so River, what do you feel, how do you feel about the sucking or whatever she said in the beginning? I don't know. Um, yeah, love that moment, it's top 10. But also, when they critiqued Crystal, Crystal also got pretty good critiques, honestly. In her performance, they were- Yeah, they love her, but they were saying, which I'm glad they're saying, okay, we get that your details are perfect, you're perfect at doing this stuff, we wanna see more. I love that they said that. I don't know what that means. They said it last week too, I don't know what that means. Um, so, Cause you she did the they... workout thing and she had the titty bib and she was like doing the whole like wah, wah, and like being silly. And then she did this where she's like giving the same performance as everyone else, but like doing better than two other people on her team. And they're like, but we want more. What does that mean? What does that mean? I think it's just a production way of tearing her down so they can bring her back up later. I was really worried. Yeah, I don't know. What do you mean on TikTok today? So the lip sync is between, of course, Charity and Scarlett. Charity and Scarlett, and this is the first lip sync. I went into it and I was like, oh. I, I know I didn't oh. want to see either of oh. them leave. Th and we say that a lot. We don't mean it a lot. Okay. This I usually <laughs> try to say what I mean, but yeah. Uh, well, I you know I I just try to make people happy, but but this one I, was like I yeah. was so worried. And watching them both, I was like. I see both of these being good. Like, I can't tell. When she said both their names, I immediately, before she said, you're both saved, I immediately had the thought, oh yeah, they sent. Because, vi because Victoria, Victoria had, to, had leave. to leave. So they do have an extra save. They didn't use it last week, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. And thankful for. I was so grateful when she saved them both. Cause I was, <sighs> believe me, I was, I was not so... ready. The only one that I was like, if I had to send one of them home, it would have been Charity, just because I believe the show is not for her. I believe she's beyond it, and I'm tired of seeing but we them can't not do understand that. her. We can't do that. Right, but like, I'm not, if I had to pick one, that's what I'm saying. But I'm just happy yeah. that they're both saved, so happy. Agree. Just a good episode, right? Did you like it? I did, I did. I went into it with the same hope I think the producers did, that this would be another UK hun. It wasn't, but fun. B D E. You gotta have big drag energy. B D B D E. Huh? That's not it. It goes B D honey. Oh, you're right. The last time you were here, you forgot to do your own dumb segment, and people they noticed. So wow. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Whoa! Episode two, they had no idea how we were. Fuck. I would like to issue a formal apology to all of our watchers, all of our viewers, all, all of everyone our supporters, in the UK. and everyone in the UK. Mm. I am, I'm shocked. I'm flabbergasted. Yeah. Well, then there's only one thing to do. It's Darby. Darby. Mm -hmm. Darbala. Mm -hmm. Booby Boobies. UK? I'm alright. Oh my god, I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> You're excited. I wasn't. I wasn't. Oh. BD, honey. I, I did really it. That scared me. Yeah, I'm alright, Bobs. Alexis, you okay? I'm sorry. Alexis, you okay? <laughs> oh. You know what? It's been a it's been a rough couple of days. Why? I wanted to I don't know. I think I just hate myself a little bit. Okay, so when people ask you if you're okay, there's two answers. There's good and there's fine. So good if you're doing well. If you're not doing well, it's fine. So let's try that again. Okay. Alexis, you okay? I'm doing fine, baby. Thank you so good much. Good to hear. All right, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that little notification so you yeah. get the notification every week that we have videos because we are moving into a three Busy series blitz. week. An so, IMHO blitz. Blitz. So for the next few weeks, it is going to be putting out three videos a week, which is fine. I'm going to be very happy about it. I'm very happy to do it. Okay. I'm very happy to do it. So make sure you have the bell notification so you know. Yes. And if you would like to see even more exclusive content, 
Jen is over on the Patreon, IMHO, patreon.com slash IMHO the show. Yeah, there is an entire 20 minute segment that we cut out that is just for Patreon only. 30 it's minutes wild. even. Some people yeah, it's would wild. say. Some, if they can't count. Not to mention, how many Patreon exclusive videos did you say? We have over 100. Almost 100 exclusive only, but then the bonus footage episodes included, we have like well over a hundred videos. So many boners. We are also on Cameo, honey. We are. If you want to get a Cameo from us, these two, we're on there separately. And we can also have something called Shamio, which is a message from the two of us together. With the IMHO background, it is very profesh. Yeah. And we actually, we have one to do right after this. So oh, don't so we got to get, yeah. Off. I mean, maybe take the week off. Thank you so much for watching. Security we will see not you. Like not only next week, but like in a couple Four days, times probably. a week. Get ready. Yeah, You're going to okay. see our faces a lot. And you're not going to have a choice. You always have a right to choose. We're very pro-choice. Except for abortion. Like, that sucks. <laughs>